Ready? So, welcome. I'm at New Bold College. It's lovely to be here. We've just done animal idioms, and this is our, my first end of lesson video. I'm very excited about it. So, we've done loads and loads of animal idioms. This is all your work. These are all your words here, and I'd like to go through this with you as a reminder of what we've done, because there will be homework tonight. Something to keep you occupied at the weekend. If you're in the rat race, you work a lot. You're stuck in the system, a vicious circle. I'm sorry if I spelt that word wrong. And then someone said, a hamster in a wheel going round and round and round and round. I love it. The black sheep of the family, you have this idiom in your language. It's a different one, the outsider. I asked, is it positive or negative? But you said, it depends. And you're right, it does depend very much. Um, these are very common idioms, as sick as a parrot, as poor as a church mouse, as blind as a bat, as brave as a lion, as cool as a cucumber. It just means very, very sick, very, very drunk, very, very poor, very, very, okay? Um, a cock and bull story is an untrue story, usually exaggerated. Great word, so we needed to look up that word as well. If you exaggerate, you make everything seem bigger than it is. You're a drama queen. You make a mountain out of a molehill. Um, curiosity killed the cat. It's quite a fixed expression. You just say, someone wants to know something, and you don't think it's a good idea to tell them. You just say, um, curiosity killed the cat. And that's it. And it basically means don't be so curious. It's not a good idea. Being too curious can be bad. It's very true. Um, a catnap is a short sleep. Short. Uh, there's lots of cat idioms here. To let the cat out of the bag means to tell the secret. And well done for this one. To spill the beans also means to tell the secret. Uh, if you're barking up the wrong tree, it means you're guessing incorrectly. If you badger somebody, it means you're bothering them. You're putting them under pressure for a certain reason. You're being pushy. You're pushing them to tell you something, maybe, or to, to, to get them to do something. That's another possibility. If you go to see a man about a dog, basically, if, I say, if you say to me, where have you been? And I say, oh, I just went to see a man about a dog. It basically means... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to tell you where I've been. Don't ask me again, please. Uh, a guinea pig, I love what you've said here. A lab rat, a test subject. These are really good explanations of guinea pig. Um, until the cows come home. You can ask me until the cows come home. It's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you came up with this idiom, when pigs fly, which is great because this is a lesson on animal idioms. So well done. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. Basically, it means there's more than one way to do something. And to make a monkey out of somebody is to make someone look like a fool, make them look silly. If you tend to do something, it means you usually do something. And somebody used this word, a uh, tendency. You have a tendency to do something. So this is the verb, and this is the noun of that verb. Builder's tea, standard, usually cheap. I'm not going to say anything about that because I've seen expensive builder's tea. Standard black tea with milk is builder's tea. You know, you go into the cafes these days and they say, what was tea would you like? Darjeeling, ginseng, this with this, uh, ginger. No, just builder's tea, please. You know, just standard black tea with milk. It's probably my favourite tea. If you've got a sweet tooth, it means you love sweet things, chocolate, cake, and all of that delicious stuff. If something doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense, well done. If you're gullible, you are naive. That's a great word. Uh, sometimes gullible people can be quite innocent. They believe things that you say very easily, very quickly. That's it. I'm going to give you some homework now. Thank you.